Hello from Sweden and welcome to this reading, a message from your galactic home. And I have prepared four different paths with oracle cards. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. We're also using different tarot decks in each of the piles. And pile one also have this card. Pile two, we have this card. Pile three, we have also this card. And pile four also have this card. Okay, that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you can just scroll down to the commentary section where you will find the timestamps. And I will see you guys in your separate readings. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. So, we're gonna put your tarot deck to the side and we're gonna start here with the first card to see what's behind the tape. And it says, manifest, manifest. She's holding the lotus flower here as well. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the rest of your oracle cards. And you have the mountain. Hmm. I'm getting a message already, but let's do some more oracle cards here. You have consult your body's wisdom. A message from your galactic home. Okay, first of all, I want to say, pile number one, where you're coming from, you are like master manifestors. You're very good in manifesting things. And you're very, you're living very aligned with nature where you come from. I'm getting like a really like a Pleiadian energy here. Uh, doesn't have to be, but I'm getting that. But I feel like they're telling you, they're pretty quick here. They're like, yeah, already when I saw this first card, I, I heard this like, yeah, you need to use your manifestation skills. You you have some, uh, you're like a ma yeah master manifester. And I think it's like where you come from, like you're gal in your galactic home, you're very high vibrational. So things goes, it's very easy for you to manifest things. And nature is, they're telling you that connecting with nature is also going to connect you with your manifestation skills. You have consult your body's wisdom here and the mountain here. So kind of the mountain makes me feel like you've been trying, they can see that you've been struggling a bit with your manifestations. And yeah, the mountain kind of shows that obstacle that you've been trying to reach maybe or try to overcome or you've been trying to manifest something. So they, it's kind of, they're saying it's kind of funny that you struggle with this because you are so good in manifesting. They tell me like in your, where you come from, you you are some kind of priestess or priest. You, you were working with, so I feel like that your galactic home is very like connected to nature. I don't really see you as a light, light being like, I see you having some kind of a form, like some kind of a body in some way, not like a human body, <laughs> but some kind of body in some way. And I see that your planet is not actually not so similar to earth, but still, still there's something with the nature that is kind of, you have nature, but kind of in your own way. And you're very connected to nature. You're very aligned with nature. You are manifesting together with nature. I feel like nature where you come from has kind of its own spirit, which actually is the same thing here on earth. You know, Mother Gaia is her own spirit. The trees are alive, everything is alive. So it kind of feels like they're saying like, okay, we can see that you're struggling with manifesting. The way to come, the way to work yourself 
kind of back to your gift of manifesting is also remembering the connection that you have with nature. Nature is going to make you heal. Nature will give you... Uh, will will give you back kind of your power to manifest and I also feel like it's going to help you get rid of some blockages in your body your 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 connection with nature even here on earth is stronger than your connection with people and souls actually because it's more close to your core vibration as a soul yeah and the nature is more vibrantly aligned kind of with who you are so kind of connecting with nature is also like I said it's going to help you a lot and they, they once again they see that you're struggling a bit and they want to make it they're like yeah you got this you can do this this will help you reach the top of whatever you wanted to reach here hmm. let's keep going here Grounding. I mean, look at that. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So you have planet Earth and you have a big tree here. So kind of like there's an, I heard like there's an ancestral connection that you have with the planet. There's a reason why you came here and it has more to do with the planet in itself. The planet Earth as a soul, as a spirit, more than kind of coming here and having the experience of being a human you, you, there is a it's like it's it's like your the, the earth is kind of like a child of your planet in some way or some something somehow it's a bit connected i don't know how but with the tree here it kind of feels like somehow it's connected and you once again you're you're going to find more of yourself and your power and in the healing letting nature heal you i think for you actually honestly pile number one working kind of with plant medicines or herbs or stuff like that i think it's very like for you you're very receptible for uh, alternative medicine alternative healing and working kind of with plants and herbs and stuff like that because because of the connection that you have yeah because of the connection that you have it could even be that there is some problems with your body and they come from, yeah, being a human. <laughs> I mean, being a human, carrying things kind of in your energetic structure. So I really feel like this could really help you heal your body. Heal your body and also heal your heart, they're saying. Because she's holding here on her heart. Heal your body and accept your body just the way it is, you know. Accept everything with your body. Hmm. You'll find kind of. I kind of want to put you in the forest. <laughs> yeah, it kind of feels like you. You will find everything in 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 the connection with nature. So for many of you, you you have this ability to talk with plants. Yeah, to talk with plants, even animals. You have this very very strong. Even actually, even stronger with uh, the trees and the plants and the flowers than animals. I feel even. Hmm. And they're showing me where you come from. It's like you don't really have animals there. So not animals like that we have here on Earth. Not at all, actually. So it's completely different where you come from. Yeah, completely different structure. So silver light. Hmm. Let's see what it says. The silver spiritual lights that shine on you now bring clarity and prosperity. You will see things in a new light and the choices you will make will come from your highest self. Don't always reflect on the past. Live in the moment. Affirmations. My choices are clear. The spirit, silver spiritual lights that shine on you now bring clarity and prosperity. You will see things in a new light. And make choices accordingly. So there kind of feels like these. Yeah, look at that. I said like the animals that you have kind of on your where you're coming from. They're, they, they're not like earth. And even if we look at these animals, don't they look like a bit more etherical or something? So yeah, definitely something like this. It kind of show, it kind of feels like they're showing you the way. The silver light is showing you the way. The silver light is showing you the way. And I really feel like you have some guides from your galactic home. And this is the ones that we're connecting with now. And they are like, they are, uh, yeah, they are overseeing your journey. They are your guides. They are trying to guide you and help you. But they're really like keep on pointing to the struggle that you're going through. And or that something that you want to manifest here. 
or, or something that you need to heal within your body or maybe all of that. And, and they're saying like, once again, connect with nature, connect with nature. For some of you, even like, you know, going on the path of being a shaman or a priest or a priestess or, you know, connecting with herbs, herbs, plants, something like that will really like help you, like I said. Yeah, that is the path for you, I feel. Hmm. Let's see what else we got here. Lepo, lepidolite, recall your dreams. So you're, they are working a lot with you when you are sleeping. They are, they are really helping you with blockages. And I don't know, like, I feel like it's, it's kind of like there's something stored in your hips or in your legs, like kind of in your body, also in your heart. But there's something with your physical body. There's some energy stored there. And I feel like this, they really want to help you with this to release this last card here is transition wow look at that <laughs> you got leo lepidolite two times lepidolite lepidolite transition and 33 so 33 is the number of the master so it makes me feel like let's just put this over here actually uh it makes me feel like they want you now to to transition into getting in touch with your power you know, or unlocking certain gifts that you have that has nothing to do with you as a human. It's not human gifts. It's kind of your soul's gifts and the gifts you have as a star seed from this planet or this place. Yeah, from this place that you come from here. Hmm. So I got Pleiadian first and I, I, I feel like there are some Pleiadian souls watching this, but I'm also getting like a totally different planet. And I don't know where it is, but they're showing me. Yeah, it's here in the corner. So maybe you're getting something else. Then you will, whatever you feel, just listen to that. If you have another planet or like a place in your mind. But yeah, the transition here. Let, let, he, I feel like let yourself heal. Let yourself heal and let yourself... I kind of want to lay you down. I really want to put you in the forest, you know, <laughs> like build like a little forest, uh, I don't know, cabin, you know, with trees, you know, like a little tent or something and put you there in the ground. Uh, you would really do well to go into the jungle or, or the forest or something like that to kind of study something or connect with something. I really think that would be really good for you. So, yeah, let's also do some tarot cards here to see what else we can get. It's a beautiful place where you come from definitely i feel like a lot of harmony uh a lot of balance a lot of harmony working together and once again they say like yes you are like some kind of priest priestess here uh i see you once again like connected with nature you're doing things you're working with nature. you're always in nature they're saying <laughs> like you're always in nature so yeah <clears throat> and uh, yeah that's what you do so it's like yeah go home going to nature is going home for you going into nature going home for you and i feel like you're very heart very heart based where you come from so you have a natural uh, your heart is very naturally matured so I, I think like you have a lot of compassion you're probably an empath i feel like your 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 heart it's very easy for you to open your heart for especially kids like children animals and uh, even could even be like sometimes the suffering of the planet can be very difficult for you to carry or something like that so yeah but you have a very open heart i feel like you're somehow very balanced actually in your your essence energy feels very balanced it feels like you are like five five to six dimension where you come from so earth is the 3d planet so i feel like you're somewhere five to six dimension planet could even be higher than that but i feel like there is no fuss going on where you're coming from there's no wars there's no ego there's no difficult things it's just harmony and balance and i feel somehow yeah maybe it was it's been a bit difficult for you here on earth because but but at the same time i feel like i think you're a pretty easygoing person actually uh, yeah i think you're a pretty easygoing person i think you don't like fuss <laughs> you don't like like making a fuss i think you're definitely good with teamwork 
and community like living in a community is I think that's good for you I think you you like being surrounded with people and uh, not everyone not everybody you, you you I think you don't really maybe like harsh energies I think that's very difficult on you harsh energies harsh harsh people ego you know destruction news can be very draining for you I think but in the right environment where you are with people that are vibrating the same way as you I really feel like you you are it's good for you to be around people because I see you at home you're really like living in this community everybody has their own thing that they're doing that they like to do and everybody's sharing everything and working together it's this very it's like a paradise community where you come from yeah paradise community where you come from and your task once again is to tend to <laughs> you're a planet caretaker I heard yeah you're a planet caretaker so probably in your mission they're saying yeah I think you came here once again it feels like planet earth is the child of your planet so I, I really don't know what that means but it kind of feels like yeah it's kind of some kind of child that's maybe it's the way they get born the planet <laughs> somehow somehow it somehow it has a connection to your planet and because you are a caretaker of your planet you wanted to come here to earth also to tend to earth and so for, for you to really find your own energy is to be back in working with the planet working with the plants you know working connected to nature or being a lot in nature finding yourself in nature that will unlock like a lot of things for you they say they're even saying everything for you <laughs> they will lock everything for you hmm hmm you will definitely get a lot of insights when you are in nature you're very open and the trees are talking to you the trees wants to tell you stories I hear the stories of the old earth or the old way of living so you, you <laughs> well, you're very interesting actually a very interesting energy so yeah they want to tell you stories about how the earth created or something like that so yeah you have access to like a lot of cool knowledge pile number one really <laughs> so let's look at your tarot cards as well you have the devil yeah Hmm. You have the devil. You have tree of pentacles. It's in your it's in your task actually to protect earth. It's in your task to protect earth. The trees have something really to tell you, to remind you. They're trying to remind you now of who you are, why you came here and your strong connection to the planet. Hmm. How you were meant with the tree of pentacles to use your mastery you know your talent to heal to protect earth to heal and protect earth yeah two of uh, cups here wow beautiful it's a love story <laughs> i heard yeah it's a love story your <laughs> it's funny yeah it's very nice actually your connection to the planet is a love story which sounds so strange but it, it's a very very deep connection and it's i see you as like a I see you actually living lifetimes here on earth as well kind of as a fairy or a deva or you know something like that taking care of uh, like a spirit spirit fairy or something like that uh, taking care of uh, uh, taking care of the streams the oceans the trees the forests the jungles like different you had different tasks <laughs> in your lifetimes so yeah Hmm. you don't like that much being in your human body I feel yeah that's not your favorite place to be as incarnated as a human is not your favorite places to be but sometimes you do that as well just because of the experience and just because of yeah the experience and certain things that you have decided as a soul to kind of learn or expand within your own soul but you don't like that as much actually you prefer being in another realm you prefer coming down as a, some kind of a guardian sea guardian ocean guardian guardian of the forest like some kind of fairy or something like that you prefer that so i it's, i feel like sometimes you're a bit grumpy of being a human being stuck in your body because it's very limited for you you're very used to being free so it's very limited so you could really really have a problem with the limitations of being a human of the responsibilities of being a human 
and all of those things. It could really be that you don't like it. It could even be that you you could be a bit rebellious and like very you're very like a strong individual, I feel. So yeah, if you are in the right setting, like with people that you love, I think you're very good like a with like like in a family. If it's people that you love, if it's friends in a group, if it's people that you love, I think you're really loving it. But if you're not in a place that you love, I really think that you can rebel. Like not like anybody or have a very difficult of um sacrificing kind of yourself just to fit in yeah sacrificing yourself just to fit in but on the other hand you're very also flexible and also very kind so sometimes it could even be the other way around so this is very contradictive actually but sometimes it's like that <laughs> so it could be whatever you resonate with sometimes it could even be that you are trying your the community um energy within you is so strong that you're always like people pleasing or something like that so i'm getting two types of people here actually so let's continue we have the tower underneath the devil wow that's interesting hmm oh i'm holding it wrong <laughs> yeah look at that <laughs> i i was holding it upside down maybe it should be upside down actually i don't read reverses but yeah the tower and the devil the destruction of the earth there's a story the trees wants to tell you about the destruction of the earth. Oh, but things that happen on earth before, you know, a long time ago. Even the stories of the galaxy and the universe. Wow, you have really access to a lot of knowledge. <laughs> Pile number one, you do. Hmm. So if you want to explore that, I think, yeah, the, the potential is very strong here. You also have the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah... The Wheel of Fortune underneath the Three of Pentacles once again tells me that you have a certain, it's in your, uh, it's in your Dharma, it's in your life purpose, it's in your, not life purpose, it's in, it's in your soul purpose to uh, somehow be in some kind of connection with the planet and somehow heal or help in some way heal or help in some way yeah that's what i feel here this is what they're saying yeah this is that very high <laughs> we went up very high in this reading to your soul purpose not your human but they, if we go back kind of so we can channel we can go down a couple of levels and back to you as a human today just to make it a more, more relatable also in that way so what just to also sum it up a bit that that i feel like that you had some blockages in your body and that you're trying to manifest something as well so by also connecting with nature this is also going to help you in your kind of everyday life and in in the places where you are stagnated and stuck in your life yeah so it all goes together mm. Okay, pile one. So this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, pile one. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile two and welcome to your reading. So let's start with revealing a little text here by taking this off. And you have clear your energy. Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking about what she's doing here. There's energy. <laughs> she's doing like a bit of a dramatic pose here. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's put it over here and let's look at the rest of your oracle cards to see here what is the message from your galactic home. And you have the king. Wow. <laughs> powerful the king so clear your energy i want to put the king here yeah i want to put it here yeah let's put it here okay let's keep that over here <laughs> okay and you have create sacred space wow i also felt with the king here because you know the orange and the yellow and the hand it kind of felt like it was creating space <laughs> you know something pushed Clear your energies from drama queens or kings. <laughs> There's a drama queen here. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you have a drama queen in your life. But let's see here. 
create sacred space the first thing that, that that i want to tell you is like yeah your galactic home they're telling you you're a very powerful soul <laughs> yeah you're a very powerful soul you're very good in working with energies I f i'm getting definitely getting like an energy from arcturius uh, even sirius and uh, yeah, Arcturus and Sirius, maybe even Andromeda, but like you're very, very, very good. You, you kind of feels like sacred geometry here. You are very intelligent. Yeah, where you come from, you're very intelligent. Like you are creating uh, creative intelligence. Creative intelligence means that you can create anything from nothing or you know you can you can move through dimensions and you can you can do kind of anything when it comes to energy you're very awake and aware and you have like a lot of ability i would call you like let's just say this, this the magician you are the magician as a soul or this place where you're coming from you are magicians you are working with creating things changing things moving things and clear your energy so you're very you know you are very and and you have a very high energy awareness and a very 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 high vibration i would say like you are kind of like where you come from you're from seven to nine so it's uh, planet earth is 3d but this is like seven to nine d like something like that so your ability to travel through time <laughs> travel through dimensions move things create things is like so it's like it's we cannot even channel it it's crazy like the things that you can do uh, if you would have your power here on earth you know it would be insane you are not allowed to have that and also because uh, yeah it, it would disturb the human experience but also it, it, it wouldn't be it, it's too dense here for you to activate that but they're saying that you have a very high energy awareness. You're very, very sensitive. So it would be, it could even be that's a bit, it's a bit difficult on you here on earth because of your sensitivity, uh, because you, your sensitivity is very good, you know, when you are at home because everything is so high vibrational there. So then it, it's kind of, you are, you are like a fish in the water, but here on earth, you're like a fish on land, you know? So it's like, you're like trying to swim, but there's no water. So it's very difficult, I fear. So one thing they want you to know is uh, your sensitivity is your power. They want you to know that even if you have difficulties handling it, maybe here on earth, like I said, because it's not really the right place for you to be as a soul. It's very, very low, like really low, 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 <laughs> not what you're used to. And still, I feel like you're a pretty, like, uh, I feel like a hardcore soul a bit. I'm getting a bit of Lyra energy as well. So probably like a lot of old, ancient galactic souls here and... Uh, the king so yeah they want you to know like i keep getting with the king i'm getting the magician energy so yeah you feel like the magician the high priestess but yeah the magician you have uh everything that takes your you are um you are some kind of master you know i think like this is you're ca all carrying this in the planet that you come from this galactic home that you come from you all have all mastered certain energies and uh, being and awareness, you, you have all mastered this. That's why I say you're some kind of master. So let's see what else we got here. Let your light shine. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like they're saying like, never hold yourself back. Never hold yourself back from being who you are because this is where you find your strength. They're saying, yes, you are not like everybody else. Yes, we can see that it's maybe hard for you to find your place here on earth. But remind, remember, I, and I feel like I feel a bit of a sadness now coming over me. And I feel like there's a longing. It's like you lost your brothers and sisters and you went off wandering off alone on earth here. And there's not many as you or even, yeah, there's not many as you. So it kind of feels like I'm getting like this, a bit of this lonely, lonesome feeling. And they're saying here, being yourself is very, very important. Th this is when you are, if you're holding yourself back from being you, you are giving away your power. And I feel like 
when you give away your power because of your sensitivity and your openness to energies, you're you're carrying a lot of things that is not yours. You're taking in a lot of things that's not yours. So for you, it's very important to be you, to be you. And I feel like your style of talking, speaking, writing, thinking, seeing, looking at the world could be very, very different from other people. Could even be that people have a hard time understanding you at times. But it's because, <laughs> it is because you come from a place where you're very evolved. And not just evolved, you're very like, it's, it's like, you know... Uh, words are limited, you know, when we start talking about things like this, words are very limited, but it's like you think in the terms of symbols, sacred geometry, the things you can do, it's not, I'm not even able to transcend that into words that make sense. So you have a whole mind, you, your mind is just so expansive, but I also feel if you get trapped in your mind, it can become your worst, worst enemy because of the, <laughs> your mind is very, very intelligent. But, you know, coming here on earth, also having an ego that's, that makes it very, could be very difficult, could be that you're getting lost in your own mind. So for you, it's very important to, meditation is definitely, even if we look here, create sacred space. For you, meditation is very important or, you know, connect with the present moment, connect with the now and, you know, sitting here and oh, this is beautiful, you know, <laughs> wow, you really have, you have access like to very high healing energies and information, very high. So yeah, you are some kind of, like, like I said, you have mastered something as a soul and, uh, Mm, you have definitely mastered something as a soul. You'll have like this high tech abilities, <laughs> high tech spiritual abilities. Yeah, that's what I feel. High tech spiritual abilities. I also see some of you on a ship. So if you have a, if you have a, like a tendency to feel drawn to like UFOs or, you know, galactic ships or Star Trek or Star Wars or stuff like that. Yeah, it's because you come from a ship. <laughs> you live with the ship. So for some of you, I've seen this as well. Living on a ship, I hear Ashtar command. So you're very like, yeah, uh, I see that you're very working with, uh, uh, you know, higher galactic, uh, kind of like a galactic guardian yeah that's what you're telling me the galactic king <laughs> no but like a galactic guardian like the kings of the galaxy taking care of i heard guardians of the galaxy yeah one of my favorite movies a series oh yeah it's movies actually so guardians of the galaxy galaxy uh i think it's called guardian of the galaxy <laughs> yeah so anyway so you're doing something like that this some kind of higher uh work serving somehow doing something like that yeah let's continue here angels wow selenite and an angel light selenite and an angel light so you're definitely very high vibe as angels you know angels also have different vibrations you know some of them are 60 and up you know so anyways and um uh, but I feel like you're very connected to angels. You have a lot of angels friends, <laughs> friends that are angels, and you're do you do very good. Like there's like you, you're in a team, you know. I see you in this team once again, where you are uh, masters and you're light beings and you're some angels and you're all working on kind of like guardians of the galaxy, guardians of the universe. Yeah, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. So you all come from different places, getting very strong, serious energy once again here. And you all come and there's like a base where you all meet and you discuss and you do things like this. Yeah, you do things like this. Could even be some um, uh, angels in this piles, pile. Angel servers, yeah. So, hmm. What else do we got here? Rainbow obsidian. Heal your heart. Hmm. Because, yeah, underneath, uh, on top of the angels here also, there's a heart here also on the rainbow obsidian. So, you know, they're saying... <laughs> interesting. Very interesting here. Very interesting. Yeah, there's a big heart here as well. So I'm getting two energies. Um, first of all, I hear from the mind to the heart. Some of you are 
very, like I said, intellectual. Like your mind is just very impressive actually but like once again it can also be your worst enemy because it's like because here on earth you're dealing with thoughts and ego so it becomes very difficult so it could be that you are disconnected with your heart so there's a there's a need to balance your heart i feel your heart and your mind is the key for you your heart and the mind is the key for you and to be yourself those three things are the things that is really going to make you feel good you know, mastering your mind, not getting lost in the thoughts, making, being able to silence the mind. Uh, you know, how, how do we know how far we have come on the spiritual path? Yes, the absence of thoughts. <laughs> uh, I think it was Ra, the, the Indian guru, Ramani Maharashi, that said that. I can't not remember. Like, wh how, how do we, how can we measure the um, progress on the spiritual path. I think he was the one who said that the uh, um, absence of thoughts in 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 every day, like how 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 little do you think? Like, and not think. It doesn't mean that you're becoming like uh, stupid or something. It means that you're living here and now. You know, there's something else that you are living through. You're living through being instead of thinking. So yeah, mastering your mind and ways to get to the point is one of the things that I really feel is going to help you connect with your knowledge, with your uh, gifts, with your talents, with, with just being, you know, being this uh, vast uh, soul that you are, but also the heart, heal your heart, could definitely be that you're carrying some heart blockages. We had some drama queen here. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like, yeah, maybe you were, you were put up with some drama queens or maybe getting over your own drama queen. You know, sometimes we can be drama queens. So anyways, yeah, something with that. And heal your heart. Yeah, like I said, get connected with... So I think like for some of you, you are... <laughs> you know, as a soul, we have... Uh, like it's, it's a whole journey, you know, as a soul. So doesn't just mean that you have one star seed origin or that you have yeah when your soul was born you kind of was you were kind of born into or you kind of started your soul journey in one place and then this place kind of colored your soul or kind of became the energy of your soul that's why we say i come from here or i come from there and but you know when we go higher we're all one we are all the i am presence <laughs> so this is just like levels of the soul so now we're talking on a level where the soul still has like an experience of being somehow separated from the source so anyways so we can have many origins you know now we're also human we're earthlings you know because many of us have been here on earth for for a long time so i see from some of you you started your journey as an angel you started your journey as an angel, then you continued your journey with ascending maybe on Arcturus, Sirius, Andromeda, something like that. Maybe different many times, many places, like many of you are hybrids that you have. Like if you do like a starseed origin reading, I think they would come up with two, three origins. And this is the places where your soul has spent the longest time and uh, the first one that you started out with that is kind of the basis of your soul so for many of you you're kind of like a little bit of galactic backpackers or you've moved a lot of things so for some for some of you i really feel like you started as an angel and then you went on this long journey and you started incarnating and other things and kind of feels like they want you to reconnect with your angelic side with your heart and the heart here is the key here because so it can really be that your struggle between your being in touch with your emotions, living from your heart instead of living from your head. You tend up going up into the head. And like I said, it, it, it is because you're very developed. Your mind is very developed. But here on earth, it became very difficult because the mind is working very differently here on earth. <laughs> so, so let's see here what we got here. Solitude. Hmm affirmation i am restful and i feel blissful in my own company let's just yeah retreating and finding solitude will be beneficial for your health take your time go slowly and find your favorite favorite place to rejuvenate take time to bat to bathe in the light of the next full moon and allow your senses to be calmed to bring serenity when needed so solitude yeah it's very good for you actually 
it is very good for you to reconnect with yourself because I really feel like there's a lot of things going on with you. You have like a lot of talented talents. You have a lot of gifts, a lot of abilities. You have a lot of spiritual connection. Like you, I think your spirit team guide is very big. Yeah, I see like a lot of them. <laughs> and also they're very high vibrational, which also means you keep on uh, absorbing a lot of high vibrational energy. You know, you get a lot of downloads. You know, it's very, I kind of feel like it could be very heavy on you from time to time, especially during like eclipses, full moon, lion's gate and you know all those things probably also because you're listening to to me in this reading uh you're probably also very aligned kind of you're you are going through some kind of ascension and you're awakening so you're more <laughs> prone to like kind of having like a lot of purges and cleansings going on so it's very solitude it's actually very very important for you and to connect with your heart there's an imbalance here between the energy that goes up into your head and the energy that goes through your heart so kind of for you it's very important to balance that the mind and the heart has to become one i feel yeah it's that is the key for you at least to become more balanced because the mind is a very powerful tool for you you know like i said the absence of thoughts doesn't mean that we become stupid. No, it means the thoughts that comes through your mind become super sharp and super clear. They're, they're channeled from a higher place. Whilst when we just have obsessive, repetitive thoughts that comes from the ego, you know, just comes, they come automatically. They're just repeating themselves with nonsense, you know, nonsense, worrying about the future and the past, you know. And if you really have observed your mind, it's really, it's like crazy what the mind is doing. So it's kind of taking control of your mind opening your heart and that's going to connect you with your power and uh, yeah that is going to connect you with your power and also at the same time not hold yourself back you have to be who you are you have to be who you are not everybody is going to like you but that is fine that is fine because not everybody is going to resonate with your energy or even understand what you're saying but that is fine you are meant to be yourself it's very important that you are yourself <laughs> okay, let's do some tarot cards. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> I felt like a lot of energy here. Oh, yeah, I want to do this as well. Yeah, I made a mess here. <laughs> let's see here. Oh yeah, let's do this one. Okay, let's see if this is enough. Uh, yeah, maybe. Well, I think so. Let's start with this one. So we have Seven of Pentacles. I think for you also with the Seven of Pentacles, because I feel like you're a very fast paced person. You like things happening. You know, you're, you're, you have a very active mind or you, your energy needs to be very active. I think for you, it's very important to learn to have patience and to calm down your energy calm down your energy they're saying you're not home they're saying they're saying we can see that you're trying to live your life like you're trying to use your mind and you're you're trying to use your energy in the way you do when you are at home and they're saying yeah it doesn't really work things goes a bit slow on earth we know it's a bit difficult for you maybe so but they're saying it's like very important that you slow down a bit to to let things kind of happen like i, I feel like you're going through a really like a ascension uh, some kind of a purge sometimes sometimes some some time some kind of I keep saying time <laughs> yeah give it some time some kind of awakening so they're saying yes it's taking some time but it has to do that because you are taking in you're very open to like I said you're taking in a lot of a lot of a lot of very 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 strong energy ascension energies that you're going through your body because you are very open for that and because you are meant to you're meant to awaken you're meant to remember who you are probably you have some kind of missions mission on earth as well uh, create sacred space yeah okay so yeah that's what you're doing actually your awakening is helping other people's to people to awaken you're probably wow okay so yeah this is definitely true you're probably one of the light being light workers here on earth that are grounding grounding new energies into Gaia ground yeah grounding the new energies into Gaia so it comes through you first it comes through your physical vessel first and it's very difficult to carry this energy so you need to be kind to yourself so it's not it's not also even if you become very unbalanced at times this is also because of that 
because you are you 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 are you are channeling a lot of energy through you you don't even have to do anything it just comes through you this is something that your soul is carrying and doing without the human you maybe even knowing that this is going on maybe you're just going through the whole roller coaster ride with uh, tra transforming awakening you know <laughs> so there's layers to this and what we are conscious of what's going on but this is definitely what's going on on a higher level so you need to give it some time it takes some time you know for your body to heal for everything to come to place it's very important with solitude for you and tend to your own energy because there's a lot of things going on in your energy so you really need to take care of yourself yeah, take care of yourself, your physical health, you, you, the way you sleep, you know, routines is very important for you and time for yourself is very, very important for you. You have the emperor. So that's interesting because you have both the king and the emperor. That once again makes me feel it's very important that you are yourself. Very important that you are yourself. Don't hold yourself back. Don't try to fit in because you are you're the people that are meant to find you can only find you if you are yourself you have a certain vibration and this vibration is meant to call on certain people that you are somehow meant to maybe inspire come together with work together with so you have to be yourself and maybe it's not going to be you know it doesn't matter you know it doesn't matter who likes you or doesn't like you actually so it very very once again it's very important just be yourself they're saying like don't worry about anything else just be you just do you that's fine and we have six of cups yeah it kind of makes me feel like yeah the people that are meant to find you or come together with you will find you when you are yourself hmm but six of cups yeah six of cups is also you know uh six of cups yeah you know past pe people people that are meant to find you is also people that you have crossed paths with so there is there is soul there is a soul family for you there is a soul tribe for you there is, there are people for you there are people for you and they are going to really really like you actually <laughs> you know you have a connection here with the six of cups that goes past lives probably even beyond past lives on earth this is probably galactic soulmates that's that is meant to come into your life uh yeah they're saying that there's yeah i actually heard that now they're saying that's not only you here don't worry you're not alone here they're saying there's several of you here and they're laughing and they're looking like how you are they're showing like a map like one is here and one is here and they see how like you're coming closer and closer and closer so some of you have already crossed paths paths with many of these people and they're already in your life some of you could even be people coming they're laughing and saying yeah you think you're alone but this person is coming towards you now you know this uh, galactic soulmate of yours this family it's going to be family for you we have eight of pentacles hmm eight of pentacles and eight of swords so that's interesting hmm eight of pentacles and eight of swords I feel like for you, I feel like for you, you signed up, <laughs> pile two, <laughs> you signed up um, for the awakening, yeah, you did, so it's it's taking, it's a journey for you, it's, it's a pretty, yeah, it's a pretty long journey for you actually that you're going through, probably your whole lifetime, this life, from the time that you awaken, but also before, the before time before you awakened also had some kind of a purpose, but it kind of feels like, yes, this is a whole journey for you, it's going to continue your whole life and for you it's all about breaking free breaking free awakening ascending ascending and being that frequency of light the, the frequency holder of light <laughs> and with your own ascension and awakening also helping other people mm -hmm. but there is beautiful there is a soul tribe here on where who you are sharing this journey with yeah hmm okay i really heard like time to stop so we're gonna stop there and yeah pile two so this was your reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit that like button if you feel like sharing your story please feel free to do so in the commentary section either way pile two i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time goodbye hello pile three and welcome to your reading so Let's start with taking away this little tape here and see what it says. And it says, ask for guidance. Hmm. Okay. 
let's put it over here and let's look at some more Oracle cards. And you have the storm. Ask for guidance and the storm goes good together here. <laughs> Ask for help here. Hmm, the storm. So I'm really getting a message. Maybe some of you, could be that your galactic home does not exist anymore. There was a storm, something happened where it was lost. But let's see here, let's continue here. Feel. Hmm. You have so love. Wow, interesting. Number 33 as well. So love. You have clairsentience. Clairsentience. Oops. <laughs> Card flew away. Uh, increased clairsentience makes you more sensitive towards the feeling of others. Sometimes this can be very useful and healing and help guide you through the spectrum of feelings and emotions of those around you. It can also help you navigate your own path. Affirmation, my clairsentience is becoming stronger, stronger. So clairsentience, clairknowing. No, clair, clairsentience, clairfeeling. So I think it's clairfeeling, but it says feel here. Sensitive towards the feeling of others. Clairfeeling, clairfeeling. Feel, and feeling here, yeah. And so love here. And the storm. The storm separated you. <laughs> the storm separated you. Separated something. Something happened here. We have to continue. <laughs> See how this unfolds. Communication. Hmm. Yeah, clear feeling. Clear feeling. I'm thinking, you know, I don't know the clairs, but I know there's something like called clear feeling. <laughs> Communication. And we have aquamarine. Go with the flow. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Aquamarine, go with the flow. So, there is, I feel like they want to tell us today here. There is a core wound that you're carrying as a soul. Where you somehow lost your galactic home or got separated with your soul love. Or you got separated from something. Hmm. And I think I think you're there I think what you're saying is that you're still dealing with this separation that happened because this looks like it's something separated from something. There's a crack here. There's even a hand arm here like help me, <laughs> you know, that's getting consumed by this dark here. So yeah, for many of you, pile number three, you you were there was a destruction of your planet. You lost it, which is very it feels very heavy when I'm talking about that. And it's kind of like you're carrying this. So for some of you, you it could be that you're carrying some kind of unexplainable fear, or like really deep sadness, or a feeling of not belonging, not finding yourself home, or longing to home, or something like that. For some of you, you even lost somebody here. The soul love here. You got separated with somebody here. And I feel like for some of you, it could even be that this person is on with with your with you here now. <laughs> or something like that. Your soul love. But the soul love also feels the love that you have for your home that doesn't exist anymore. So it's very interesting because when I channel now, it's gone. <laughs> like I try to channel it, but it's like, it's, I, I just feel like it's gone. It's just void where it was, where your galactic home were. I just feel a void and there's nothing there. And I feel like the sadness. And I see they're showing how you are. It's, it's like a, it's a collective soul wound that you're carrying with this, these souls, I feel. Hmm. And with feel here and clair clairsentience here, like, yeah, it feels like you are definitely an empath, you know. You can feel and sense the emotions of others and, and, and the energies. You're very, like, uh, you're a very psychic person, actually, I would say. Yeah, very uh, spiritually open, psychic, empath. Probably you, you have other psychic gifts as well. And uh, communication, yeah. 
So yeah, you're very, very psychic. And there is a, I, there is like a blockage in some way. It's like kind of like for some of you, it could even be that you're blocking, opening up certain gifts because you're, there's a subconscious fear of remembering what happened here in the storm. What happened here when the destruction of your planet or the destruction of the galactic civilization that you were living in because it was consumed by the dark. I kind of see how it was like, like, I feel like this was like a, I don't know, like it feels like the planet in itself got like sucked up in some kind of void or something. So strange. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So they're saying there's no, you don't, they're saying, I feel like there, you don't have to fear going deeper. You don't have to fear your gifts and you don't have to fear this wound is what I hear because the separation that happened here, it's very important for you, I feel, for your well-being to kind of heal this and to dare to really open up yourself to trust and to love again. I hear with so love, yeah, to trust and to love again. And it could be that you are carrying some kind of resentment, bitterness, or just like a feeling of some kind of hopelessness or something like that. And it comes from this loss here. It comes from that loss. Hmm. But you have a beautiful energy. I mean, you're very, very, very high vibrational as a soul and peaceful peaceful soul you know you were a very peaceful soul hmm i feel like dare to live again dare to love again dare to let that go but also dare to face that face that pain and heal face that pain and heal hmm Go with the flow. She's so interesting, you know. I like if we look at these energies, like your energies as a soul, you are like so so I feel sad that this happened to such a beautiful planet. It feels like whatever you came from, it was beautiful. I'm getting like a bit of a Mintaka energy here actually. Yeah, Mintaka could be like it was this uh water civilization in Orion. So yeah, maybe you are you were in Mintaka actually, or it could even be another place. You know, as a, as a galactic souls, we have had, we have incarnated many places, you know, so you can be a hybrid. It doesn't mean that you only were in one place. You probably been in many places. So if you feel, if you feel a resonance to many different uh, star seed galactic origins, that's totally fine, actually. <laughs> that's actually mostly how it is. It's not that common that we only have one because as a soul, especially if you're an old soul, you know, we have chosen to have many experiences. But yeah, the aquamarine here also, yeah. Yeah, look at the waters were like this. Could even be the like Lemuria. Yeah, Lemuria, but that's like really not. But yeah, you came down with your family maybe, uh, you were incarnated on Earth during the times of Lemuria, and then you know Lemuria got destructed, and uh, uh, even Atlantis, you know, fell something like that. But this doesn't feel like that. No, this feels like something else. I keep getting Mintaka here. Actually, could even be that you lost your love there, soul love. You lost somebody there. Hmm. Ask for guidance, because this person that you lost still exists. This is what I feel. Could even be for some of you, you're coming together in this lifetime. Or this person still exists, I feel. Ask for guidance. Communication and ask for guidance. They want you to connect. Somehow it feels like subconsciously you're not going certain places because you're scared of what you will find. And it's true. What you will find when you open that door is going to be some darkness coming out. There's, that's why you're subconsciously are avoiding that, <laughs> doing certain things because you don't want to open that door because you know it's going to be difficult and it's true. But behind that storm, behind this pain or whatever happened here, there's so much beautiful things here. You know, look at this, feel. They want you to feel again. They want you to, 
they want you to heal this and to be joyful again because they're saying even if the they're actually they're still existing you know a lot of them <laughs> so the soul can never get distracted you know just changes form or you know we just change form nothing ever disappears you know we just change forms <laughs> so they're saying like uh, but but there's some of them like left like from the original <laughs> tribe i hear <laughs> like the original uh people like the original souls that was with you there's some of them that still exist and they're somewhere else now they're showing i don't know where they are but they're showing we're here now and we are fine they're saying we are fine now Let's heal together, they're saying. Let us heal together. Oh, I felt like I want to cry. <laughs> oh, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't even resonating with this. But I think I, I think it actually, actually, I think I am suppressing this. Because <laughs> I was like, no, this is not my reading. <laughs> but yeah, maybe. Maybe. I know I have a strong connection to Lyra, definitely. So yeah, Lyra as well could be. Could definitely be Lyra as well. Vega, yeah, Vega also. But Vega was not uh, this destructive distracted but maybe a lot of lyran souls went to vega after the destruction of lyra so hmm what i feel is like just like such a peace and harmony where you came from so the destruction was really 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 like unfair in some way it's like it, it came from nowhere it feels or something like that came from nowhere but yeah wow you were like very like you're you were very connected you were very like <laughs> pile number three you have to be an empath you have to be an empath like being able to really sense energies feel energies you know read people very good you're very open you're like very 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 spiritual already from a child you've been spiritual yeah this is definitely the pile already from a child very spiritually connected and I keep feeling like maybe holding yourself back, maybe holding yourself back from your gifts and just because it's, it could be that it's too painful to, to reopen them, to go there, to go there, because it means that you have to feel to go there because your gifts are operating, your work, your work, you're very heart based very very heart based living in harmony living through your heart so love loving everything 33 master number you're a master of love it's a planet of love you came from the planet of love and harmony and happiness and dancing and singing you know and living you know beautiful look at this beautiful waters and i see dolphins swimming yeah i saw dolphins so yeah animals like that swim. it's like very like uh, aquatic yeah you came from an aquatic place probably and yeah we have this uh, Hawaiian uh, uh what is it called yeah you know this woman here <laughs> anyways <laughs> so yeah in Hawaii you know so yeah you come from a place from there Mintaka this could really be Mintaka Mintaka or Mintaka Mintaka I think it's called Mintaka so yeah and it's it's for you it's all about feeling you know loving and feeling you know you 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 can really feel deeply <laughs> so if, if this is not if this is not healed for you, it's going to be very difficult with your emotions. Like your relationships with your emotions can be very difficult, actually. Because it's where you are, you are, you are like really identified with your emotions. Uh, because uh, that's how you are kind of, we're operating, you were living like through your emotions. But high vibrational emotions, you know, <laughs> from the heart, heart emotions. So, so it could be that you're emotionally unbalanced because of this. There needs to be healing here. It could even be that you're carrying wounds. You're carrying wounds now. You discontinued. It was a soul. It was a soul wound that became a karma. It was a soul wound that became, became a human karma. Because you took this with you and started incarnating on earth. And you, just stepped, you kept on repeating this because somehow your soul wants to heal this. So maybe you, are, you lost people in your life. You, you you had very hard time with your emotions and uh, yeah it, it seems to be like a lot of things going on with your heart with your voice communication maybe you went maybe you went through like a lot of uh, problems with boundaries and losing your land losing your your people genocide you know you, you went through like a lot of stuff like that so it kind, of, kind of the soul wound got added on with karmic wounds 
karmic wounds. Yeah, so they're saying this. But look how beautiful you are. I mean, look at that. This beautiful, soft, loving, heart-based, aquatic energy. Seeing you swimming with the dolphins and singing. I'm getting a bit of avatar energy here as well. Yeah, this is where you come from. This is your energy. So don't be scared. Ask for guidance to heal this wound here now. So you can get in touch with who you are again. So you can... So you can get back those good feelings of you and the power of your heart, the healing power of your heart. Create rainbows in your life and maybe even other people's lives. Hmm. Open up the communication. You have a strong connection to dolphins and aquatic animals, sea animals, oceans and animals, water and oceans and everything watery is very good for you. Connect, living next, living next to water, living on a beach, living next to a sea, something like that. It's very good for you to be near water. The clearer the water, the better I hear. <laughs> yeah, the clearer the water, the better. So some paradise, <laughs> go move in some kind of paradise, Hawaii maybe could be very good for you. You're going to feel very home there. Maybe some kind of Caribbean island or something like that. But that is very healing for your heart. Maybe you can go travel there if you can't live there and communicate. You have some guides. There are whales and dolphins. Yeah, you have guides. There are whales and dolphins. You have a very strong connection to uh, Atlantis and Lemuria. I really feel that that was also very important for you those times. <laughs> Poor you. You had to relive that soul wound immediately with the, the destruction of uh, Lemuria and Atlantis sank. So yeah, you had to go through that once again. So yeah, this is a pretty heavy thing that you're carrying, poor soul. So yeah, mm, this is what you're showing. So let's look at your tarot cards as well. And yeah, let's just start here. Nine of Wands. <laughs> yeah, look at that being in. <laughs> Her facial expression here is like not, not even amused at all. You're not, not amused. Some things on earth does not amuse you at all. And uh, it's funny here because sometimes you can really be like a bit pissed off. <laughs> and like, it's like, it's, it's really like when your heart is closed, it's like you can really go into this like kind of bit of a depressive mode. Yeah, let's see here. Three of Wands. You have Queen of Swords. Let's do all the cards. We have Ace of Swords next to communication. Well, it doesn't want to flip around. So yeah, Ace of Swords next to communication. Yeah, open that up. Something with your voice. There's something also with your voice. You need to scream, I heard. Yeah, you need to scream. You have a lot of suppressed emotions because of this, like the, the soul wound. And then, like I said, it's been adding on. So now I feel like you have a lot of suppressed emotions. There's need, this kind of feels like you need to scream to clear that out. But also some scream from your solar plexus. Yeah, scream from your solar plexus and from your throat chakra but also kind of something with your heart, like scream from your heart. It doesn't even make sense. How do you scream from your heart? But yeah, scream from your heart. And Ace of Cups. Wow, look at that. Ace of Swords and Ace of Cups. So I feel like you're getting like, this is your purpose, I feel. This is the purpose. This lifetime, This it's the purpose is to heal this. So it wouldn't even surprise me if this lifetime you, you had a very difficult childhood, you know, and I'm laughing because I, I'm laughing kind of uh, realizing, yeah, that's exactly what I had. So anyways, you had maybe a very difficult childhood to activate that pain again and to, to deal with this somehow. And, and the pain from your childhood is the gateway for you to go deeper. You will, you will understand you know, if you are working with this, there's going to be breakthroughs where you first start maybe to transform the layers of the pain from your childhood. And then at a certain point, you go deeper, deeper, deeper. And at the end point, the last thing that you're going to heal is this core wound from your soul, from the destruction of your planet. Mm, this beautiful place that you had. It was beautiful, beautiful. It's your true home. And it still feels like that. It feels like your one true home. What can replace that home? So, I mean, it's really like a deep, 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 deep soul loss. Yeah, it's a deep soul loss that I, that I feel like you're carrying here, that you're meant to heal. And I feel keep, keep, keep feeling like there's some guides that are coming through now. They are living in other places. And they're saying, yes, the home does not exist, but we are still here. Ask for guidance. We can help you. We will heal together, they're saying. So we are still here. So you can manage this and, and go through this. Three of Wands here, Queen of Swords kind of shows how you are meant to go beyond this now. Go beyond this. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords. 
they want you to start living. They want you to start living. You've been carrying this for, you know, ten thousands of years. I mean, yeah, it's insane, you know. It's been holding you back for so long. They say now is the time to heal this. Now is the time. Should we do one more card here? It kind of looks like we should do one. Let's see here. Let's just take this one on top. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. Wow. Reclaim your power. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, reclaim your power. And I really mean like your power as a psychic. Your power as a being very connection connected to the ocean, to the seas, to the like the the animals, the aquatic animals. And uh, you have like a really strong co co connection with the spiritual realms. And your heart is also very, very, very strong. So this is like reclaiming your powers, reclaiming these lost parts of you. Hmm. If, if you, you lost your beautiful home, that is true. That does not exist anymore. It's not kind of coming back anymore, actually, I feel. And that is sad. But in the process, you also lost yourself, which is also a remembrance or a part of that beautiful home. You were a part of that beautiful home because without you, it would be or the people living there, or the animal living there, you were adding to that beauty. But you you kind of separated yourself also from yourself. So you kind of didn't just lose, lose it, like the, the planet in itself, or the home in itself. You also lost the home within you by losing yourself. So now they want you to reclaim your power, reclaim yourself, heal that wound, so you can feel that that home... <laughs> oh, I'm going to cry a bit... <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's see here. That that home that you're missing is still within you. You are uh, expression of that. It's still there. Everything is still there. The, the, everything is there. And you can, with this, there are people, there are souls that want to create like a new home. And it kind of feels like there is a possibility. So this is very strange information. When you leave Earth, there is a possibility when you have healed that you will get another place where you can start to recreate your new home. But there's the healing first. And it's not just you doing this. That's why they're saying we're healing together. There are many, you know, that lost this home. Many lost. So you're not alone. You're, you're all still there. The home is gone, but you are there. So you need to heal and awaken yourself. And then together you're going to recreate that new home. Mm. <laughs> wow. Okay, so <laughs> pile three, this was very, 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 yeah, my heart just went inside out and I feel like, whoo, yeah, okay. So this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, pile three, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile four and welcome to your reading. So let's start with this card and let's see what's hiding behind this little tape. And it says love. Yeah, I could almost figure that out by the picture here. Hmm. Let's put it over here and let's look at some more oracle cards. And you have the father. Okay, love and father. Father, I want to keep them like this. Hmm. Hmm. We have come back to center. Come back to center. We have meditation. We have Law of Attraction, it's a badger and a blackbird and a, a rabbit here also. And it says, by keeping your mind and actions positive, the people who surround you and the situations you are in will attract the best surprises. You will also attract new people into your life. The new people that appear may be the most unexpected, but can bring best memories and adventures. I attract the best in life. Yeah, attracting <laughs> attracting people that are unexpected. <laughs> unexpected people also love here. Hmm, law of attraction. <laughs> I heard you're, you're a bunch of st strange people. A bunch of strange people coming together. I don't know what that means. So let's continue here. We have black kyanite set strong boundaries. 
Hmm, that's very interesting. Set strong boundaries, but also attracting unexpected people. So what else do we have here? Protection with black tourmaline. Wow, okay. So yeah, black, tur black tourmaline and black kyanite are both very protective crystals, actually. <sighs> very masculine. I would say yeah, both of them are very masculine energy. I think. I'm not sure, actually. because But we have the father here. So what am I getting? I'm actually not getting anything. <laughs> Let's see here. I need to... Come back to center here. A message from your galactic home. Mm -hmm. The father. I feel like there you've been, I feel like, I feel, what I feel is like you've been to places, very, very long, some lonely roads. You have been, you have, tra I feel, you have traveled far and wide, many times to lonely, play, long, long, some lonely places. As a soul, you have collected some weird friends on the way. Like, you're a weird bunch. <laughs> yeah, you're a weird bunch. So I feel like your soul tribe is definitely going to be your soul tribe. You're not coming from the same place. You, you have different experiences and you're coming from different places. So yeah, I think it could be that you're, the people around you or the people that you're meant to connect with, you could be very different from each other, but still be become best friends. There's a bond with you. There's a bond with these people. There's a bond. Hmm. There's a bond. Love. Hmm. <laughs> they're looking, it's funny, they're looking at the lovers here. <laughs> I just saw that. They're all turned to looking at how is this love story going to unfold or how is this love going to unfold here. The father. So for some of you, I feel like this is popping out, the love here. Hmm. I think, okay, let's say it like this. You have someone at a soul level that belongs to you and you belong to them. In some way, you belong to each other. That's what I feel. And they could be with you here or they could be not with you here. <laughs> it's so strange. But there is someone. And for some of you, this person could be here with you on earth but for some of you no this person is not here on earth yeah that's just what i said hmm this was a very very difficult reading actually why is it difficult i don't know the father the source the father the source where it started where the journey started, come back to center. So you know what, you, you don't, <laughs> this is strange. You don't have a galactic home. Oh yeah, one, one. I was thinking like, is this a twin flame story going on here? One, one, 11, one, one, the one, one, the, the, yin, the yin and the yang, the, the, the one side and the other side, the, the so below, so above, the two people here and everybody's watching these two. And it feels because I don't feel like I don't feel like a place here. I don't, I cannot sense like or feel like yeah you come from here. I see the father as the seed, where you both, where you both came from. You both came from this seed, and everybody's watching you. I kind of it's so funny how they're watching this. Come back to center is going back to that seed. It kind of looks like you're you're laying in a seed here. You're laying in a seed here. Come back to center. Reunite with kind of with yourself as well. Hmm. I think we have to do your tarot cards because this reading really was a bit difficult. Yeah, that was just that. It was very, it was a bit tricky. Probably it's my reading <laughs> because it's tricky. You know, it's always harder when you're channeling for yourself a bit as well. Hmm, black kyanite. But I keep getting this cold feeling, you know, with the kyanite and black tourmaline, that you have been separated for a very long time. Separated from the source, separated from yourself, separated maybe from your twin flame. And like I said, some of you, this person is with you this life. If you don't have your twin flame in this life, your twin flame is not incarnated with you on earth this lifetime. Yeah, 
that's very important to know that I felt <laughs> so but there, there's a cold I feel cold with the black kyanut and the black turmoil I feel like coldness a close close something closed maybe or a distance or a distance hmm. law of attraction come back to center I hear like it's in your hands Oh, look at that. And the Empress just flipped over. <laughs> so that was interesting. Yeah, let's just do, do these two cards here. Oh yeah, okay, so <laughs> I guess we're doing it like this. Yeah, and that one as well. So yeah, let's just see here. The Empress, the Father and the Empress, the Star, and everything is fine. And I really liked that I chose this deck. <laughs> look, we have one card here sticking out as well. I, I, yeah, I liked that I cho chose this deck, but it's very, because it's very colorful, because I keep feeling this very cold feeling of like, this, I don't know, disconnected or distant, maybe distance between you and the, the love, you and the, you and the other part of you. What is this card? The chariot. Hmm. Let's just do one more and then let's try ten of cups. Everything will be good. Everything is fine. Yeah, everything is fine. I think we're going to do one more. Three of pentacles here. I just felt like it should be one more there. Okay, let's see if we can like figure this out together here. I'm sorry. <laughs> like this was difficult, but yeah. You've, 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 you've been alone for such a long time that being together is very there's something to overcome to be together now but being together is what is necessary for you to come back together to the source and back returning back so yeah very strong twin flame energy here actually and if that doesn't resonate you can check one of the other paths but yeah we just started reading Sometimes it's like this and then we just have to give it some time and I will see like I will just open and see what comes through me and you know anything can come at any minute here. So with the Empress and the star, it's kind of like there's they're they're saying the love is the this 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 love it's not like an ordinary love, you know? It's like this this love activates something in you. And it doesn't matter if this person here is incarnated or not. This love is, is in your heart. The connection is in your heart. So it's not so much about the person in itself. It is in your heart. It is transcending the layers of your heart. Where you have been. I keep seeing like you've been on mission somewhere. They, they, they sent you somewhere very far away. And you were there for a very long time. So yeah, I'm I'm getting this energy sometimes. So this is kind of like, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if you have a connection to dragons. Because I, I get this sometimes, you know, a dragon rider going on a very difficult mission somewhere in some dark planet fighting some darker forces or kind of being some kind of guardian, protector. Yeah, you have protector. So you were some kind of guardian or protector of the dark and light in some way and you were off here and you've been alone for such a long time so kind of it could be that you have a very strong sense of being independent and alone but i feel like it's like somehow they're saying yes you know we have to come back to the source come back to the center by letting going through these layers in your heart and reconnecting with the, the this the, the 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 other part of yourself the other reflection of yourself, you know, the father here, the tree here that has black and white, connecting with the other part of yourself, the reflection of you is becoming one again and returning back to center and source. Whew, tricky reading. <laughs> so everything is fine. Three of Pentacles, the Chariot and Ten of Cups. It, it's, it's, you're, you're, it's meant to be successful. It is meant to be successful. Look at here, the chariot. Yeah, it's kind of you here. Rock and roll. You're on your own. You know, you're fighting demons or you're fighting whatever you have your wand here. You're fighting off whatever you're fighting off. You're very strong. But there is 
And it's not, like, once again, the person itself is not important as a physical person, but they connect because the connection is within your heart. The connection is within your heart. And at this level, you're not even, I don't see you as a star seed. I see you as energy. You, you don't even have like, n probably, of course, you probably have had other experiences. So you probably have also uh, incarnated in other uh, planets and stuff like that. So you, you probably can feel drawn to certain star seed origins. But this is what they're showing you now. On a higher plane where you were born, you were just you're just energy. You're you're some kind of light being, or even higher than that. So you're just energy. So you don't need the physical person. You know the the the, the twin flame in itself. It's the energy that you can connect with. Because even as a physical person, we are like not really the soul you know there's very little of the soul in the human person before we are kind of even when we are enlightened on earth you know we're not completely i think i don't know actually I'm, i think i'm <laughs> trying to channel something that's too difficult for me so let's just leave that <laughs> so yeah hmm but anyways but for some of you definitely this person is in your life i mean yeah some of you this person is definitely in your life hmm However it is, it's going back. For you, you're going back. So if, if, if this is definitely the pile that is meant to really, really ascend and go far in their awakening this lifetime, you're meant for success and like kind of really, really grow the empress, the chariot, really the star. I mean, grow, you're meant to grow a lot as a human being, <laughs> as a human being. And with that kind of, you know, transcend being a human being, transcend being a human being, getting in touch with something deeper. <laughs> it's very interesting. I keep wanting to go here to the being alone, you know, fighting off whatever you're fighting off or riding on your dragon here. You're very good in handling difficult situations, actually. And energies, you are some kind of a transformer, you know, somebody that can transform energies. So it could be that you're carrying also a lot of energies. And it could be that you are, yeah, it could be that you are carrying like generational karma or that you took on like a heavier load this lifetime because you are a transformer of energies. I keep seeing you with a dragon flying around, you know. So there's definitely a need for you to kind of protect your energy and have very strong boundaries because you tend to kind of suck in all the negative energies around you. It's a subconscious thing that you're doing. It kind of happens on a deeper level where you're not really... No, you don't really know that, so that you're doing that. So for you, it's very good like to stay away from reading the news, watching, you know, really, uh, you know, ego low vibrational tv stuff and stuff like that reading and listening to music that has a very low vibration because you're picking up like a lot of the energies and you're transforming a lot you're transforming a lot yeah hmm hmm but there's two of you <laughs> i keep feeling that yeah there's there's two of you there is two of you but you've been away from each other for such a long time I mean, like, like long time. And this is also what gives me the twin flame vibe, vibe. Because twin flames don't usually meet. Unless it's time to ascend and go back to source. So that's what it feels now. Or to do some kind of higher spiritual mission. You know, the twin flames don't meet to have a normal life. To have a family and kids and have a beautiful love life. It's, that's not what it's about. It's, it's, def it's about the higher higher spiritual purpose and mission hmm. so yeah but because you've been away from such such a long time away from each other there is uh, there is uh, things that needs to be kind of worked through for you to fully recognize and ascend together is what i feel here and once again, it doesn't have to be incarnated on earth. You can recognize and connect with this person or this energy. It's not even a person, like I said, you know, it's energy. <laughs> with going deeper. Meditation, yeah, we've got meditation here. So meditation is all about coming back to center. But that feels like coming back home. Going back to the seed. Going back home. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Law of attraction. <laughs> yeah, so let's jump back, back, back to this. The people that are watching you here or what it is. So you have really also, I want to say, like you picked up some really like odd friends along the way. <laughs> like it doesn't make sense. I really like, it could be that you have a friend group and it's like you are maybe three, four, five people or whatever you are. It's like if you put all of them in a room, they're like, there's going to be something like the, that is different, but still you're, there's something that's very similar. You're, con you're, you're, you're kind of having the same vibe. You're understanding each other but it's really like you are coming from different corners of the universe yeah different corners of the universe and it's it's beautiful actually yeah it's very beautiful and i can't really get where i, I really don't see where you i can't get like really where you come from like, every time i try to connect where you come from they're showing me yeah you were off in missions you know you were really never had a home maybe you were you were off doing this. I see you on your dragon flying. <laughs> yeah, that's what I keep getting. Flying. Making everything fine for everybody else. So you, you've definitely been serving a lot. Serving a lot by transcending dark energies in distance, distant places. Yeah, dark energies in distant places on your dragon. So probably you don't have a problem with being alone, really. And... Uh, I don't think you have a problem with maybe fear or like darker things. Could even be that you're very interested, even kind of maybe in conspiracy theories and like stuff like that. Could be, you could be very interested in very like uh, a bit darker things. And I'm getting like a lot of Scorpio energy here actually. So it could be that you have some interesting Scorpio placement um, or something with Scorpio in your in your uh, horoscope. Maybe you have some kind of interesting eighth house placements or twelfth house placements because it kind of feels like you're very mystical. You like the, the the deeper things. You you're not the person that's going to be scared of shadow work, and yeah, you're not scared of shadow work. You're not scared of going deep. But at the same time, I feel like you can go very high with the Empress and the Star and the Ten of Cups. You can go very, very high in your energy. So it's just, and this is why they sent you off to these places. <laughs> you know, they sent the light to the dark to transcend the darkness, the, the darker energies. You know, to help. So you can do this. So you you can dive into the darkness, and you know, with your dragon, you transform it with all your power and I see you flying around a lot just protecting just being a guardian and like it's been very yeah I just see you being there and I feel like you I want you to connect with this dragon actually yeah so you have one dragon that is kind of your dragon that you were working with so one thing that I'm getting here is to connect with this dragon when I'm saying this maybe you hear a name maybe you're getting a color of the dragon I see black actually <laughs> I saw a black dragon with some blue black and blue dragon like a black dragon that is reflecting in you know the the skin is reflecting in blue and green and a bit yellow very little yellow as well so yeah anyways what however you feel yeah kind of like this actually a bit like this hmm huge enormous dragon so it could be that you yeah it could help you to connect with this and i feel because this energy feels so strong the, the being away as a soul alone for so long. It, it's like a journey of also connecting with the heart part of you, with, with the other part of you. So I don't know what the other part of you was doing. Like one went into the dark and the other went into the light. So it could be like you and your twin flame are carrying different type of energies. One is carrying the dark and one is carrying the light. And together is when you are becoming one. Wow, this was beautiful. This makes sense for me as well. Because <laughs> me and my, my twin are very different, but very similar. Very different. It's very, actually very true. Like I am more working like deep into the shadows. He is very, very good in being here and now. Holding this very, very strong light of presence. You know, very. Whee! <laughs> and I am always like diving into the dark places and doing really dark shadowy work. So yeah, it actually makes sense. So yeah, one of you went into the dark and one of you went into the light. And this is also what makes it when you come together. There's a natural attraction for the yin and the yang to be together. There's a natural, yeah, law of attraction. There's a natural attraction for you to be together. But also coming together is also going to be, woo, you know, all those things, all those hundreds of thousands, I don't know, it feels like separation. The separation between you, the two of you have been for so long that you think that you as a soul 
is a soul that is without the other half. But that is not true. You as a soul is a soul with other half together. You become, together you become one soul. Or it's not even a soul. <laughs> a soul is a lower level. You are a soul. You are two individual souls. But on a higher level, you are one energy. And on a higher level than that, you are both everything. I, the I am present. So it's different levels here. So, but two, two individual souls are meant to connect on a higher level. And transform and transcend into the energy and then if you're meant to go all the way back to the source or not we don't know that and but there's definitely a, a plan here for you to ascend with this to ascend with this yeah hmm if you have your twin flame here on earth with you i think you're meant to create a very happy life we you know with the ten of cups and the three of pentacles probably that you have some kind of strong mission doing something doing something definitely heal the f being lonely being away and being lonely like finding home finding i heard god i know many people don't like the concept god or god but i don't see you know the source finding source <laughs> finding source finding home within you by reconnecting with the other part of you which is an individual soul another soul your twin flame but at the higher level is not an individual soul which is a part of your energy <laughs> okay you guys get it <laughs> yeah we got it i think we got it so yeah this was a tricky reading i hope you liked it and sometimes it's just like this yeah mm, return to the stars everything is fine everything is going to be fine yeah okay pile four so this was your reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit that like button if you feel like sharing your story please feel free to do so in the commentary section either way pile four i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time goodbye